Hey guys, my name is Kristen Leanne. Today I partnered with Sephora to bring you the recipe on how to make your skin goals happen. As you figured out from the title of this video, this video is going to cover everything from A to Z on how to create a great flawless makeup look and keep it that way. That's why I wanna to talk to you guys about multi-purpose makeup grippers. That is a product that doesn't do just one thing, but it's doing many different things for you and working for you in many different ways at the same time. My favorite primer right now is the Josie Marin Argon Finishing Balm. It comes in a fancy box like this. This is available at Sephora. Not only does it grip makeup, but it hydrates, it's anti-aging, it's vegan, it's cruelty-free, and it is amazing. Another use for this primer is that you can actually pat it into your makeup throughout the day to kind of like revitalize your skin and give yourself a nice glow. So after you've cleansed your face and applied your favorite moisturizer, I would suggest using a gel moisturizer if you are very prone to breaking out or getting oily throughout the day. Yes, even if you are oily, you do need to apply moisturizer. It's very important to keep your skin moisturized or it's gonna continue making oil and be like, I'm dry, I'm dry, make more oil and then you will have an excess of oil. So I'm taking my Josie Moran finishing balm and I'm just pressing that into my face, kind of focusing that on my problem areas. After I've dabbed that around, I'm going to lightly rub that around into those areas and over the entire face, promoting good circulation. Poor blood circulation in your face can cause so many problems. It can give you dark circles under your eyes. It can make your face pasty. It can cause acne scars to stay there much longer. It can cause dark spots and it can cause you to have fine lines and wrinkles because collagen is connected to cell regeneration. And if you're not promoting good skin circulation or blood circulation in your skin, then your cells aren't gonna regenerate that fast. Now it's time for the foundation. Today I'm gonna to be using my Becca. This is the Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream and this color is in cashmere. So I'm just gonna be applying my foundation with a damp beauty blender with all the water squeezed out, of course. This is applying so nicely to the top of this. It's like, I just like, I don't know. It's not sticky at all. It just feels really hydrated and I can definitely see foundation just sticking to it. So awesome! Usually with other primers, my foundation kind of still settles in the pores of my nose, and right now it's like, I can't see any of them at all. Next I'm taking my Tarte Smooth Operator Pressed Setting Powder to set around the eye area and my entire face. Now I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup and I will be back in like two seconds. So this is my skin now after putting on my makeup. I am also going to be checking in with you at three hours, six hours, and nine hours to show you how the foundation has stayed put. I'll be showing you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of this look right here at those points in the day and what my skin looks like without using a multi-purpose makeup gripper. All right, so it's been three hours since I applied this makeup. I have to say, it's pretty awesome. Typically, my smile lines are a lot more defined by this point. I have not touched up my makeup at all, except for my lip gloss. I reapplied that because I ate some food. Three hour check-in. Where's my mirror? My pores are a lot more obvious, um, and these smile lines are starting to come out. And the makeup hasn't stuck to my nose super great. It has been six hours since I finished my makeup and I am freaking impressed. Let me just tell you what, like smile lines still hardly noticeable at all. Uh, usually my foundation creases up right in this area where I have some wrinkles. Can't see it at all. My skin is like perfectly matte. It's not too, well, matte where I want it to be, but um, I have highlight on. So it's like, I don't know, it's doing great. So at the six hour mark right now, I would say that my face is not hanging on to the makeup quite as well, especially on the forehead area here. I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera. Um, around the nose area, my smile lines are a little more defined uh, than they were with the primer. I have lipstick on my face, excuse me. This is check-in number three at nine hours. It looks the same. It almost looks identical as to when I actually applied the makeup. This is pretty awesome. I don't know if any of this is showing up on camera, but it's settled into 
the wrinkles that I have here, which are definitely um, an annoying part of my face that uh, tends to get wrinkles and collect the foundation, as well as right here, and it is creasing here and here, and I'm quite shiny. So I don't know how much of this is actually showing up on camera, but um, definitely loving the primer base a lot more than this whole look right here. So after putting the Josie Marin primer through the true test of time, it is safe to say that this is my new favorite multi-purpose primer and it gets my stamp of approval. Please share your own looks with me using the two hashtags trending at Sephora and skin goals. I can't wait to check those out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. <coughs>